for us to have the subject pile poil in the center straight in the center if she's not exactly in the center or balanced for the center then it, it looks up and uh and it, it's not good most of the time but for the past few weeks we've been experimenting with offset for the time in 360 and what i do is that i triplicate the subject that's not a word right <laughs> I triplicate him and then it starts to look really cool and I want to try that with light painting today so my first experiment is going to be with interval light painting and I do just a one shot offset of Kim going around her with the tube and then I'm going to to use it, that same sequence three times but offset in time and in space in Premiere to do something that spins well. Oh, the wind must be so bad currently. And then the next one is gonna be very tricky. And we have to put some markers on the floor because I want to do one also that is a single exposure. Yeah, so basically we want to try to do the same thing, three different positions, but within the same exposure, so a really long exposure within which we will turn on the light, do the light painting, turn off the light, change position, do it again, and do that uh, three times total. And for this to be able to find our way in the dark, because we cannot turn on the light. If we turn on the light, then it's going to be visible for the cameras. There's a trick in the light painting world that is called lens capping. <laughs> so the light painters, when they want to do a super long exposure and they need to move in the dark, then they put back the, the lens cap on the lens and then it can move around and the light is, is not shown. In my case, I have 154 cameras. So who wants to volunteer to come to do lens capping with us? Sign up. No one. No one. Okay, ice cream. Oh, did I say that? No. What? Ice cream. Ice cream first. You said you want a cone? No, but this looks a bit like your t-shirt. Catch Bridget. Sure. Are you jealous? I am. Christian is making really cool things at the studio currently. What is that? Uh, that's a climbing hole. Like, get your different pads and everything. And you just made it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just did. Yeah. Christian is the one who's making uh, all of those fancy things here, building stuff. And everything hardware is this guy. And today we're working again with 154 cameras. And everything is ready. Current setup. And the phone is ringing. So we have our 154 cameras. Everything is green because it's been calibrated perfectly. So if I look at my calibration shot, it looks like this. These are my two markers. It's looking good. Then going back to the dashboard. So my first shot, as I was saying earlier, is going to be in interval and I'll go at 60 milliseconds. Kim! <laughs> We're talking about you here. Hey! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Putting the right settings. 
interval for the latency. And when I do this normally, I would go at shutter speed two seconds. Um, we'll start with the Zebra 2. Uh, nice. The F-step is going to be 5.6. Everything so I cut some cardboard, yep. so it's gonna be flat but easy to feel on the floor. So we just put some, yep, some tape it. on top of it. Sounds Should good. Easy. So we're using tubes to uh, calculate the distance from the center. Um, so we're going to put some um, plastic pieces like that and we'll put tape on top of it. So it makes like a groove, so it has a texture and we can feel it once we're in the dark. Um, so we're going to do our best to put it at pretty much equal distance. I'm not sure it's going to be visible for you guys when I'm going to, to do these things, but like I was saying, I want to do three light painting pictures of Kim within the same exposure, but that means that we cannot turn on any light. We have to work in pitch black. And <laughs> so these are simply markers that we can feel in the dark. So Kim is going to get them. It should be uh, an exposure time of about 30 seconds probably. Okay, so we can get rid of these guys, make sure the tape is Okay, so first try. Good job. <laughs> okay. I was thinking, well, how can we make that visible? I want to make it like a demonstration of this thing. I think I just got the idea because when we're filming in the dark, we're doing this whole thing in the dark, so it's hard to demonstrate. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep the lights on but we're going to cover our eyes.
So no landscaping uh, required. We ended up just walking in the dark like this, both of us. Um, nobody got hurt and it was fine. <laughs> Music! Yeah.